Good night in Kader. Hi, good night. With the tram, uh, Gulhane from our hotel till to Kabatash. With this boat till to the last island. And we stay there and come back again by the islands, but we will not get out there. The last place is for us, the Prince Islands. Here, Adalar means island started. They are, op they are opening the gate uh, 15 minutes. It was me again, using the same car, now Steve. We go to the ferry, it takes an hour and a half. There are faster ferries, but this one stops at the different islands on the way. A ferry ride is really cheap. It's like five Turkish lira, which compared to the US dollar is less than a dollar. Wrong, it's a small one, not the big one. There was a first bridge in 1973. That's a better view of Top Capy Falls. Right now we're on the Bosphorus, going into the Mamara Sea, which goes into the Dardanelles, which goes into the Aegean Sea. If you go the other direction, well, we would head into the Black Sea. First guess, port. The first get. They're expecting over 300 cruise ships a year when it finally opens after coronavirus. There's the Galata Bridge. It's, Istanbul is a very easy walking city. Yes, you will get lost, but so what? Just ask somebody, point on a map, and they will point you in the right direction. People are feeding the seagulls. Jonathan Lillian. There is the Maiden's Tower back there. The city was living a king. One day, a fortune teller said to him, your daughter will be bitten from a serpent. And he was so sad, then he built a small castle. And then he brought his daughter to here. He wanted to protect her daughter. From serpents? Is from that? the serpents. From serpents. But so she was bitten so and she died anyhow from a serpent, even though the king tried to protect his daughter by building the maiden's tower. And the blue moss. Florence Nightingale once worked it was when it was a hospital during the Crimean War, 1852. Look here. 50,000 ships come through every year. Yeah. You can see all the container ships yeah, waiting to enter. The English cemetery is marked by that column from the 19th century. There was a German railway station. Two cars. Oh. To the east part of Turkey. You can go, this is where you would catch a train then to the east part of Turkey, to Ankara. The trains are not running from here right now, but they will in a few years. This is Katakoi. Steve and I came here on a, on a food tour. There are videos up on my channel. Great market there, food, very interesting. Over 40,000 people live on five islands in the summer only. In the winter time, I guess they're pretty much abandoned. From the 8th to 12th century, the princes were banished from the main part of Istanbul, which is why they are called the Prince's Islands. Originally, before then, in the 6th century, they were just monasteries. In 1204, the Crusaders came and looted the islands. And in the 8th and 9th century, the Vikings came here and looted the islands. They could not reach the mainland, but they did a good job over here. Our 
our next stop is Gudas Island. Now this is just what my guide believes or what he tells me. He's a very, very top guide in Turkey. Anyhow, he told me the wealthy Turks, modern Turks, have summer houses always on the sea where they can go swimming. Whereas, perhaps if you don't have as much money and you're not wealthy, you have a house in the mountains. But according to him, every Turk has two houses of sea. Now these are all generalities, of course. Pretty church. Ayayani Greek Church from 1899. Bergazada. Beautiful little harbor. There are only small electric cars on all these islands. There's no motorized vehicles. Hey, I cannot see what's behind it. Hey. They believe Pada. That is a military marine school. Finally, our island, Bukada. It's a very long, almost two hour ferry ride. Obviously, if this is your first trip to Istanbul, you are not going to come here. It's worth paying two Turkish lira for nice clean toilets. Oh, hey, Fredo, Fredo, you broke my heart. I keep thinking of my Buenos Aires Fredo ice cream. This is how you get around, and you use your Istanbul card for that. That's how you use your card. You just tap them. Yeah, rent a bike. Gorgeous. A hill? This Are is a Yorgi hill? Hill. If you turn to the left side, uh, you will see there uh, one of the biggest wooden uh, house of the world. Uh, it was uh, it was an orphanage. An orphanage. An, an, an The short story about this once orphanage, it was originally built as a hotel casino in the late 19th century. And then the Sultan said, oh, no, 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 I do not want a casino hotel on my island. So it was bought by, I believe, a Greek couple. And the woman had a great idea. She said, let's turn it into a Greek orphanage and since that time it was an orphanage it took in uh, refugees and it became an orphanage again and then it became something else and the rest of it really isn't interesting however what is interesting is the fact that it's a wooden building from that period and that they're not doing anything to keep it up so eventually you will not see it it'll just be a stack of timber there were 206 rooms. It is said that this is the biggest wooden building in Europe and the second biggest building in the world. Obviously, you're not allowed to go in for good reason. How many orphans were there? Who knows? Oh, some of these old houses need some major love. I'm surprised that house has not fallen down into the street. All of these houses are from the late 19th century. Just incredible. Uh, the people who came to Istanbul in the uh, 14th century, 15th century, 16th century, they, they, they used this house only in the summer. 
but they still own ships and yes yes they are owner of this house Leon Trotsky lived in a house below this one from what years to what years uh, would you from say? From the year 1929 till 1933 and from here he left the place and went to Mexico. Cardio just to inform me, the Levantine people originally came from the Venice area, like the Galata Tower was built by the Venetians for their ships from Genoa. It looks like a lighthouse, basically, but that's all just for one family, too. Can't even imagine how much it would cost to restore one of these houses. Some of the details that they're trying to restore, can't call them houses, mansion after mansion. Back home, I would refer to them as Victorian with all the gingerbread trim. Excuse me, Armenian church. And has a small this gives you some idea of what people are eating. Come to the island for the day, visit a church which we do not, and just see the scenery, the old houses. Wonderful looking fish. Bougainvillea. My summer house in South America. Cost 20 lira for a day. It's the main street. Got all the ice cream, get a baklava, hamburger, fried chicken. I'm walking, walking, walking. Off here? No offense, but I feel like I'm back on a Greek island. <laughs> I feel like I'm. I said I feel like I'm back in Greece, okay. on a Greek island. Okay, now we go back. It's at 3 o'clock. There's, uh, right now it's 2 something, but we're trying to make the 2.30. Hopefully it'll be less time than the, than 2 hours, an hour 15 instead. Sorry it's jerky, but I'm hauling butt. The pier is also from the 19th century. The Istanbul card is not good on this faster ferry, but that's okay. It costs us a whopping 10 Turkish lira to take the faster ferry back, which is an hour and 15 minutes. A little ferry goes a long way.